Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 1972. Lot Airport Massacre. The Lot Airport Massacre was a terrorist attack which took place on May 30, 1972. Three members of the Japanese Red Army, who were recruited by the Palestinian group known as the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine External Operations, attacked Lot Airport near Tel Aviv, killing 26 people and wounding 80 others. Two of the attackers were killed, with a third being captured. At 10 p.m. the attackers arrived at the airport aboard an Air France flight from Rome. They were dressed conservatively and carried slim violin cases. At the time, this attracted little attention. They entered the waiting area, opened up the cases and extracted Czech VZ-58 assault rifles, with the butt stocks removed. They began to fire at the staff and passengers. Yasada, one of the attackers was accidentally shot dead by one of the other attackers. Okidera, another attacker moved to the landing area and began firing at passengers disembarking the aircraft, before being killed by his own grenade. This was either accidentally or a suicide. Another attacker, Akamato, was shot by security, but survived. He was arrested as he attempted to flee. It is unclear if the attackers are responsible for all those who were killed, or if some victims were caught in the crossfire by the attackers and airport security. The Japanese public were in disbelief that the perpetrators were Japanese, until it was confirmed that Akamato was a Japanese national. Akamato was tried by an Israeli military tribunal and sentenced to life in prison on June 1972. He had managed to avoid the death penalty by pleading guilty to the charges. Akamato only served 13 years of his sentence. He was released in 1985 along with more than 1,000 inmates in exchange for captured Israeli soldiers. He settled in Bekaa Valley, Lebanon, but was arrested in 1997 for passport forgery and visa violations. In 2000, he was granted political refugee status. He is still wanted by the Japanese government. Forever remember those who perished on that fateful day. May you never be forgotten. Thank you for watching and learning about events throughout history. Please subscribe to my channel for other events throughout the decades.